What's up, my fellow idiots? Welcome back to the post credits. I'm your host, Tim Montalvo, and we got another reaction and review for you for a trailer for A Wrinkle in Time. I don't know much about this one uh, other than it's from Disney and it's based on a book. I'm not really a big reader per se, but um, I know that it has an, a very diverse cast, including Oprah and Zach Galifianakis and Mindy Kaling and Chris Pine and Reese Witherspoon and Michael Pena. So I think that alone uh, really grabbed me and I'm really interested to see what goes on in this film. And it's from Disney, so I bet it's gonna be at least entertaining, if not um, an amazing film. But I'm not gonna say too much right now because I don't know anything about it. So let's check it out. What if we are here for a reason? What if we are a part of something truly divine? Imagine 91 billion light years traveled like that. Sweet dreams are made of this. Your father has accomplished something extraordinary, also dangerous. He's trapped by a darkness that's actively spreading throughout the universe. And the only one who can stop it Mindy. is you. Be a warrior. I'll try. I think that looks awesome. It looks very interesting. And you know when Oprah Winfrey's in a movie that it's going to be like at least good because she's not in a lot of movies and so she's very specific in the projects that she picks. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, it must be good because Oprah doesn't isn't in like any movie just for the shit of it. She really, you know, she she picks her projects very specifically. Um, it's got a very, like I said before, a very diverse cast. And I don't know anything about the book, which is kind of awesome for me because I can go into it not knowing anything and be really dragged into the universe and the world of this. It's got a really interesting, uh, really interesting plot. The effects look great. I mean, it's Disney, so it's definitely going to be a spectacle. The director, Ava DuVernay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, she directed Selma and she's been the miscellaneous crew on a lot of other uh, films. She's been in the industry for a long time it seems but i think selma is the only big budget thing that she ever directed but i'm interested to see what's going on so yeah let me know what you guys think of the trailer down in the comments i know i'm a little late with these trailers but hey i got a day job so let me know what you think subscribe to the idiot box and become an idiot like me come back in the episode of the post credits and i'll see you later